Hey guys, Mo here. I'm going to do a little instructional video of how to parallel your Honda 2000s. Um, or the same principles are for the 1000s and whatnot. I have two new 2000i's, you know, the EU 2000i's. Um, these generators right here run 2000 watts independently. Um, you're able to parallel them, connect them together, and use 4000 watts. And one of the nice things, one of the reasons why you want two small ones versus the big one, you know, Honda sells a EU 3000, but it weighs more than both of these combined. It's a hundred and a half pounds. It's, it's a little too bulky to move. And it's only 3000 watts for these combined to weigh about 110 pounds or so. Um, together, they're about 55 pounds each, so you can easily move them, um, parallel them together, throw use one if you want to, etc. But um, I'm going to show you an easy, cheap way, um, safe, cheap way to parallel them. Here we go. The basics you can do, and a lot of people buy, is just the basic Honda um, parallel cable kit. What it is, is three wires. A ground, and a hot, and a neutral. Uh, it doesn't matter which order they go into, but essentially it doesn't matter which side's red, which side's black, is they just plug in. Um, you know, they spend the time doing this, it's a little annoying that they expect you to get a screwdriver out and actually attach it to the ground, but nonetheless. Um, the problem with this is it's limited, you know, um, combined, 4,000 4, watts, you should be able to get 26.6 amps. Um, the issue with that is by running it with these, uh, with this $40 cable that you can buy, is you're limited by this circuit break right here and this plug that can only max supply of 20 amps. You're losing out on 6.6 amps, which limits the fact that you know it won't run all AC units. It will run some AC units, usually in your RV and whatnot, and that's usually what people are using these for. Um, and what you can do is for several hundred bucks, I think the cheapest is 200, most of them are about three, maybe even 400 bucks, is you can buy a plug kit that gives you an RV style plug, like this. They usually harnesses to here. You'll have these plug cables as well. It'll go into a box. In that box, this plug will be there. It'll be another circuit breaker. Um, and it'll allow you to pull the entire 26.6 amps out of your system. Um, I don't want to spend two, three, four hundred bucks, so I have compiled a kit um, for, I think it's cost me 35 bucks. What it consists of is a plug here. I will cut this end off, I just need this plug. Um, it consists of a, some electrical boxes, it consists of some wire, it does consist of a 30 amp breaker. I know it's 30, you know, I know it's 30 amps, you can't ever get 30 amps, it only puts out 26 amps, but it's a circuit breaker, and that's what the professional models, you know, I took apart one at the store, and that's what they have in them, they have 30 amps, the big $300 ones you can buy, 30 amp breaker, cover plate, it's a special, um, can't find anywhere, safety banana plugs, you can find them, um, I'll put the part number below in the description, what they are, and together with that, I'll show you how to make a parallel cable kit. So what I did is I just cut my five foot, I had a five foot wire here, I thought it was plenty of long enough. This is 12 gauge wire. Um, I cut it in half, stripped it, stripped one end. I'm gonna insert it into my box. The other end of my box. This is heavy gauge wire. Um, it looks probably gonna look more complicated than it is, but because um, there's extra wires in here, but just pretend the black is the black, the white's the white. And the green's the green, which is your ground. Black's your hot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the white to the white. We're gonna solder those together. 
perfectly. We're going to just connect green to green. But before black connects to black is where it's going to go through your circuit breaker. So um, if anything interrupts the circuit flow, nothing is hot. And I'm going to solder these to these terminals so they never wiggle or come off. I'm going to run it in. Run my ground. So you notice here that one says line and one says load. Load's always the thing you're always, what your load is, what you're supplying. So I'm going to solder this to this. I'm also going to wrap my wires through a hole. Help hold it. Um, now it's just a matter of where I want to put this button. Um, I don't think I want to put it in the top cover. I think I want to actually put it right in the side. Maybe even in an end. I wonder if I could just jam it right alongside here. Um, all I need is a, is a hole. I'm not going to tighten this too much because it's plastic. There's my circuit breaker. my cord cinch this up okay these are the little connectors on here and they're pretty simple um, a little bit of a pain in the butt but essentially what they are is just a terminal just this this will just have power run to it but there's an external sheath that covers it and a little rubber tip so you can't touch it it's the same thing that's usually on testers like uh, like here's a multimeter um, what they are is like these, just longer ones. But that's what these things are. So that if you have one unplugged, you can't electrocute yourself by accidentally touching it. But anyway, they're pretty basic. There's just a couple different pieces. Slide together. A little closer. And then they just screw and lock. These... I just more wanted to see if I could even find these. Um, these I want to say cost me 12 bucks or, or maybe it was closer to 15 with shipping and stuff like that. Um, I had to order some other stuff from an online you know electronics. It didn't save me tons of money over just buying this because um, once you take in the 15 bucks for this and seven bucks for wire, um, I'm up to like 22 bucks for these connectors and the wire where you could have got I think sometimes even on eBay you can get these things for 30 bucks the cheaper ones and they have the right size wire they already had the plugs on them just cut this in half and use this um, it's already sheathed nice has some heat and shrink tubing and everything on there um, but that'll work you know that that'll be maybe an extra 15 bucks or so but um, I think it's actually kind of worth it these were kind of a pain in the butt um, that's it Let's plug these in, let's plug this in, let's go out and plug it into the RV and turn on the AC and run power and see what we get. What we're going to do is, um, when you're hooking the parallel kits, uh, Honda says to uh, hook them together before you actually um, start either one of them. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it doesn't matter, according to the owner manual and everything, it doesn't matter which side they plug in. Um, Plug in, plug in, it doesn't matter if you have, you know, the hot on one side, the neutral on the other side.
let's plug in. I know it's kind of dark, so let's go to the RV, which is just right here. Let's open up the door. Um, should be generating power right now. Yep. The light's on. Um, there's another light on. Let's come up here to the AC. Turns on. That's just fan, and now we're turned on high fan. And then this one's low cool, the next one. You hear the generator stress. This is low cool. Let's turn on high cool. And it's running. And I don't actually even have a battery hooked up in here now. I'll show you it. It's actually, that's my battery spot. There's no battery even hooked up in here. But. There we go, works great. Let's see if those things are, let's look out the back window. They're chugging away. Here's a good up close of it. How's it pull out? Ground still attached. But doesn't matter which side you put these in. The little circuit board in there figures it out and does it automatically for you. That side, you got about two feet of lead on each one. Um, you have your circuit breaker right there, your 30 amp, and then just your RV plug. Hey guys, there you go. Um, if you haven't done all so already, click the little button up there, rate, comment, um, subscribe. Uh, Leave me some comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll leave the part numbers and stuff below. But I did this whole thing for about 35 bucks, And it'll work just like the real one. And it has a surge protector and everything in there. That's just as safe as the real one. Um, for a lot less. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.